folks. Now, look, we've had lots of emails wanting to know about Gladys's tour dates, OK? So I'm going to tell you. It's Manchester tomorrow night, so that's Manchester Tuesday night, and then Thursday and Friday, it's at Wembley. And I advise you strongly, if you want a ticket, mm. to deal with it now, OK? <laughs> You're Right, you OK, Ricky? I'm yeah, great. Yeah. Oh, I'm Jolly so good. happy. Jolly good. It's time now for my final guest. Now, his comedy is as unique as his dress sense. And he'll soon be back on Saturday nights guiding us through his surreal look at television on TV Burp. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise, ladies. It's nothing to do with me. That's Burp's <laughs> idea of schoolboy humour. <laughs> but if you can't wait for the series, then help us at hand because he's just published his new TV Burp book. Will you please welcome the man himself, Mr Lord Harry Hill! <laughs> Nice. What a bill, and it's only Monday. Uh, I know. Lake and Gladys Knight. I know, too much. Fantastic. I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah. And that yeah. was just worrying about you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, I've got a complaint. Mm. Whose oh. idea was it to put me in this book? Dance. Look at me. Look, it was, look. It's a very accurate. Uh... It's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it he... looked like somebody put a red hot poker somewhere. Look at me. <laughs> Not only that, I'm jiving with Dale Winston. You are jiving with Dale. <laughs> well, we got the information from an industry insider. Oh, really? <laughs> While we're on the subject of Dale, can you believe they brought back Hole in the Wall without Dale? I, I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't Shameful. Know we... I don't Shameful. know what that is, yeah. but it sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Harry will elucidate, Ricky. Go on, Harry. What it is, it's, uh, it's as if you get um, celebrities dressed in silver suits standing by a swimming pool, and then a piece of polystyrene comes towards them with a hole cut out, and they have to take up the... And he shouts, bring on the wall! And if they don't get into the shape, you're following me, Gladys. If they don't get into the shape, they get knocked into the swimming pool. Nice. Oh, right, now, that, that's not entertainment. I don't know what is. <laughs> And you have to, I agree with it. You have to wear the most horrific lycra suits in silver. Are you inviting me on? No, you are not Stay clear. Okay. It's not my show, but Dale used to present it. And the new bloke, it, you know, everyone knows it's bring on the wall, but Anton goes, bring on the wall. It doesn't even do the, the right move. It doesn't do it. the thing. Are you going to write in, Harry, about this? I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. You're not going to watch it. You're going to boycott this. Yeah. You're yeah. going to do an item on it on and the I, show. I urge you to do the same. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> No, watching it then. Mm. This book is as, as unique as your show. I mean, look, we've got the Sir Trevor, 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 Sir Trevor McDonald stand-up comedy page. But well, he, as you That's know, an he, made oxymoron, his, isn't he made his name as a stand-up first. Oh, of did course. he? Oh yeah, he's so very he's talented. So, so much information, Harry. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 he's got a live DVD out for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Read out some of his best jokes. Okay. Uh, what do you the, call the soap character who sings the tunes on the radio? Zach Jingle. He's very funny. <laughs> Trevor McDonald's very Locked funny. They're rocking. They, yeah. yeah. Hang on. Why was Merlin in trouble? Because he developed arthritis. <laughs> he's very, he's very like funny, that, Trevor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Does Poor Ricky Kevin... and Gladys are completely left out. They didn't know who Trevor McDonald is or what hole in the wall is. <laughs> we should give them a copy. Yes. Yeah. Why just Ken Barlow? Ken Barlow is one of the the, the big stars of our, one of our soaps, Coronation Street. In here, he goes on this rampage. Yes. Why? What? He develops a bloodlust uh, and goes <laughs> after uh, <laughs> and attacks people in the street in Coronation Street. Uh, it's a photo story that could, <laughs> that we put together, especially for the book. Well, I could follow that nice and easily. Well, basically, what I did, I, you know, all the press photos from, you know, they hand out press photos for the Coronation Street. You know, if something happens, I went through a whole pile of them and turned them into a, a photo story, and it does finish up with uh, Michael Howard, ex Home Secretary Michael Howard. Uh, arriving in the Rovers, and Ken and Deirdre get married again. <laughs> <laughs> you know that families are worried they've all been in prison. Ken's been in prison. Tracy's in yeah. prison now. She's still in prison. She's still yeah. in prison. The oh. son's been in prison. Deidre's been in and out, hasn't she? Yep, she was, yeah. Yeah. What next, the baby? <laughs> yeah. Banged up. Yeah. Threatened somebody with a rattle. I wouldn't be surprised. You've also got a special section in on Susan Boyle. Yeah. Yeah. It's she one of those... Is she close like, to your heart, Susan Boyle? Well, Susan Boyle, as you know, for Christmas, she's got out this... Uh, <laughs> oh! Ah, that's great! A woolly Susan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, with the magnet, you know, with the iron filings, you can do the hairstyle. <laughs> badly, yeah. badly, 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 badly,
And you've a nice page as well about this, what goes on behind the scenes in television. Yeah. <laughs> Where is what it? What is that one? Yeah, hang on, I I'll find remember. it for you. I can't find it and I've marked yeah. them as well. And that's you don't get that. the post, you don't, those post-it notes don't come with the book. You have to buy those. <laughs> <laughs> you get those in Smiths. <laughs> You have to buy these separately, these little bits. Do you know what I can't believe? TV burp when it first came out wasn't a big hit. No, and it's not now either. It is. It's huge. <laughs> huge. You I'm making like sure it's not. million viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I'm on the tenth series of TV burp. The thing is, a lot of people think we've done two, two or three series. Oh, we've actually done ten. Yeah, well, I think uh, they didn't really know what to do with it, ITV, to start with. You know, and yeah. it, was, we did, it took us a while to sort out what we were... You know what we were doing with it as well. So, it was buried well, after the news, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Shameful. Yeah, but uh, it's a lot of fun, and it comes back on Saturday. Yay! Yes, yes. So get that in. This poor man, Ricky, he has to sit and watch 200 episodes of Emma Dale, one after the <laughs> yeah. other, oh, which is no. another soap. Yeah. Hot, I hate her. Is. No, I don't know what that is, but I hate her. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Dale. You're, no, it's Emma Dale is a town. Oh, oh no, it's it not a <laughs> woman. <laughs> It's not Emma, Dale. It's... Oh, OK. There's a gap here. There. I'm just, just playing along. I'm yeah. just going along yeah. with you. Yeah. Poor Ricky. Why were you obsessed with our wildlife expert, Nick? Or you Nick used Baker. To be? Yeah. Well, I love... He was brilliant for us because Nick Baker would go on his travels to find... There was, like, a pink armadillo he had to find once. Yeah. And he would go and he wouldn't find it. <laughs> now, a lot of people, if you were filming a programme about finding a pink armadillo and didn't find it, you wouldn't put the programme out. But... <laughs> Not Nick. <laughs> Not Nick. He persevered. Yeah. I've got me money, you're getting the programme. Yeah. There you go. He was like the world's most clumsy uh, <laughs> naturalist. <laughs> he'd sort of, he'd great, you know, uh, David Attenborough would creep up on something and he'd whisper quietly, and uh, Nick would just jump at it and <laughs> grab it by the throat and hold it while it was. Because <laughs> he so there. rarely ever found it. That what, he was... A poor Heather from EastEnders, I mean. <laughs> it's a lovely picture of Heather. We were lucky to get her to play ball. No! No! Oh, no. Why have you got it in for poor Heather? <laughs> She's a lovely girl. That is, that is Heather, isn't it? It that is. is yeah. That is her. Um, <laughs> they poor, poor old evil. Poor old Heather, though. You know, she's pregnant, and you know they give her such a rotten story. I know. Yeah. You know that poor woman. She's pregnant. She's a big girl. She's pregnant, and she's got asthma as well on top of it. They can't just, you know. <laughs> and diabetes? Di probably diabetes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They've probably got that planned for Christmas. Right. <laughs> has anyone... Have you ever upset anyone? You know, has anyone ever come up to you and said, Harry Hell, I d objected to what you did to not me? Re uh, not really, no. Well, I don't really. I try to avoid people that... You uh, don't go out, do you, yeah, Harry? I'm a bit frightened of going to that. You know, like the t TV awards and things. Yeah. I sort of try and get in quickly and... And out. Yeah, Thursday. with a beard and yeah. a, a trench coat. <laughs> but, uh Tommy Walsh, I believe, didn't he didn't really like the show when it first started. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Which is a shame because I'm a big fan of Tommy's. Mm. And uh, <laughs> didn't see that. I would like, if I had some way of making out with Tommy, I would like to well, do that. We'll let him. Oh, there's the music. Oh. I was going to ask you about your birthday. It was his birthday last week. Give him a round. Come on. Oh, Harry Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-five. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Harry, thanks for coming on. Not at all. The book's cracking. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. A big thank you to my guests. Raise the roof for Gladys Knight. Come on. For Ricky Lake. Hey, hey, hey. Astronaut Jack. Let's hear it for Jack. Come on. And, of course, Mr Harry Hill. Tomorrow we've got Holby City, his city star, Amanda Mealing, Funny Man Peter Kay and Donatin Bangladesh. So I'll see you all live at 5 on 4. Take it easy. Yeah.